Morning guys. Okay, so the time is now 4.25 and the 7th of January 2019. Uh, we're getting back on track. First meal of the day, four rice cakes with some honey. So I'll see you guys at the gym. Okay, so I just arrived at the gym. It takes me about half an hour to get to the gym. So uh, today it's chest and triceps. So I think I'm gonna record myself and then I'll do a little bit of a voiceover as to how to do the exercises. Okay guys, so this is the first exercise, a normal flat bench. Um, as I go up, I try to squeeze at the top and here I actually start with 12, 10, 8 and then 6 reps and I start light. You can see these are the 12 reps and I started with about 26 kilograms. Okay, so this is the second exercise. Um, this is a pull over, chest pull over. Um, every time that I go down, I try to go up and squeeze. I always try and squeeze and concentrate on the weight and the muscle because it's all about the blood pump and that's what um, made my chest a little bit bigger as well. I'm starting to see this in the last month. So here as well, 12, 10, 8, and 6 reps. This is the third exercise, seated machine press. Um, I always used the normal bar, but since I went to a different program, I started doing this exercise, and I also felt the blood flow is much more, because I concentrate on the chest a little bit more, and I always felt it in my shoulders, but I try to actually not go too far back. Fourth chest exercise, this is normal incline flies. Also start with light weights of 12 reps, then 10, 8 and 6, and you go heavier, and you can add about 5 kilograms to each and every set, which is about 2.5 pounds. Um, and here I try to go down as far as possible to do a nice stretch. Now we're starting with the first tricep exercise. I usually try to keep my back straight and 45 degrees and squeezing when I get to the top. And this is called a tricep kickback extension. Second exercise of 12, 10, 8 and 6. I usually do this as an alternative to the easy bar overhead extensions. And just focus on the squeeze. This is the third exercise for triceps. I love this exercise. Tricep push downs, also 12, 10, 8 and 6. Go heavier, 5 kilograms to 2.5 pounds each and every time. Last tricep exercise, which is close grip bench press. Try to make sure that your elbows actually pass your middle and touch the sides of your body. This makes sure that the squeeze is there and that you're working your triceps and not your chest. When I'm done with my training, do three sets of 12, 10 and 8. Each time I go heavier and slower. To start off the day, I've got four eggs, two whole eggs and two egg yellows. And then I've got a hundred grams of oats, ten almonds, a banana and some whey protein. actually eat at 10 so what I'm having is 
two slices of Ultima Kilo, Low Kilo Jewel Brown Bread and a can of chili. So I'm gonna make a toasted sandwich. chicken and 150 grams of basmati rice. Okay, so this morning I had my four rice cakes and honey. That, that, that was like a pre-workout meal that I had at 7, which was right after my training session, which was chest and triceps, my oats, my banana, almonds, whey protein, around 10, two slices of toast, a tuna and mayonnaise snack, and then at 10 I had about 150 grams of basmati rice. 200 grams of chicken was uh, made with the air fryer that we bought about a month ago. Very delicious. If you're tired of making your chicken the same every day, then uh, I definitely recommend that you use the air fryer. You literally just drizzle a little bit of oil on it. The taste is like totally different than the usual bland type of chicken. Around 4 p.m. I'll have a snack which will consist of two rice cakes, a little bit of peanut butter and um, honey. And my last meal, meal number six, seven tonight. And as you guys saw, with each and every meal that I have, it's about 500 milliliters of water. Especially after all these cheat days, you feel heavy, bloated, you eat fattening stuff. When you drink a lot of water, you actually, your body gets rid of all the sodium and the water in your body. I've seen that after eating about six donuts and having a whole day of cheating, that night I feel like heavy bloated, but if I give myself about two days, after the end of the second day, I can really feel that all the bloating is starting to, to go away and I feel much better, healthier. All these cheat days I usually do feel a little bit unhealthy but I mean if, if your body craves food, if it craves donuts, uh, just give your body what it wants to be over the, the cravings. I mean for the next month me and my wife are going to be very strict with our dieting since we are going away in a month's time but we will take you guys with us it's going to be a little bit of a trip to Cape Town I'm looking forward to that I'll see you guys then at the last meal in the next three hours okay now I'm gonna have two rice cakes for my 4 p.m. snack I've bought me one of these bars again, so I'm just going to work it in to my macros. Okay, so for the last meal we have some beetroot, avocado and Durban curry chicken, which is 200 grams with some mushrooms. How's it everyone? And I uh, just want to thank everybody for watching the video. This was the first day of my proper training and back to my normal eating plan. If you guys are interested in seeing day two, day three, four and five, please comment below and let me know. I'll gladly make another video showing you some extra tips on uh, exercising, um, making sure that you're doing the form correctly. 
thanks for watching the video if you like the video please give it a thumbs up uh, also please remember to subscribe to our channel we only started about four months ago so there's lots of content coming out and next month we're going to Cape Town doing another couple of cheat days some sightseeing thank you guys for all your support thus far and we'll see you at the next one